What's up guys, welcome to your 17th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically set up some music and set up some sound for our application because when there's music, everything gets crazy. People start dancing, there's a riot in the street, and before you know it, you're like, Grandma, put your clothes back on, please. So, man, maybe we shouldn't add sound to our uh, splash activity, but we're going to do it anyways. Basically, before we get started, I want to make sure you guys have a sound or MP3 um, clip within your RAR folder. Now, uh, you want to use most likely MP3 or .ogg, and again, make sure it's lowercase, otherwise it's going to give you guys problems. So what we're going to do is set up the sound variable, for, or the sound object for the most part, and run it, and play it for the most part. But before we get into that, I want to just briefly talk about the different classes we can use for music and for sounds. There's two classes that you guys are going to get familiar with when working with sound. One is called the sound pool, and the other is called media player. Now, sound pool is used for small clips like explosions, gunshots, just one or two second clips. And media player is used for pretty much everything else, like your background music for your game or whatever you guys are developing. So we're going to use the media player because not only is the sound five seconds long, it's also simpler to set up, and I think it's an easier sound to um, sound class that you guys can use to set up. It's pretty easy, like I said, and it's going to be a media player object. So we're going to say media player like this. That's the type, and we're going to call it our sound or our song, we should say. Again, we have to import the media player class as always so we can use its methods. We're going to set this equal to um, basically, we're going to use a method from the media player class called, class called create. So we're going to say media player, referring to the media player class, and we're going to hit dot and we have this create method. As you can see, there it takes a context within its parameters and it takes an int or a resource ID. Also, you can stream stuff from the internet using a URI. We'll probably get into that later, but here we go. We're going to just click this method, sets it up for us. Now the context, basically we're just going to say this, but uh, we're going to refer to the context of this class for the most part. So we're just going to say our class name splash dot this, referring to the context of this splash class. So there you go. Uh, we set up our context. Again, this is kind of Java, and we'll get into the definition of what this means later for the most part, but just realize it's the context of the splash class. For ID, we're just going to set this up just like every other ID we do, r.rar.splash sound. Now we have our media player variable set up called our song. All we have to do now is do our song, oops, song dot uh, start maybe. Yeah, we can use the method start from the media player class. Just click that and hit semicolon to finish, and now our sound's going to start. It's going to run, but let's say, for example, this this uh, the sound clip is like 20 seconds long. We don't want that sound clip to carry over into our next activity. And also, guys, I'm sorry, just before I forget, you want to define this variable and start it below the set content view, just for you know good habit. So do that, and then um, we're going to start our sound, but like I said, we don't want it to carry over to the next class. So what you guys might be thinking is, before this finish method, we can say our song dot, and then we're like, oh, where's, where's all those methods that we could use from the media player class? What's happening is we defined our variable within the onCreate method here. So we can only, or basically this our song variable is only recognized within the onCreate method. So we can only use it within there. But to define it as a global variable for a whole class for the most part, sorry, just a variable for a whole class, we can go above our onCreate method and set up a media player and then our song. And don't define it or anything, just set up the variable and say, hey, this is going to be a media player variable. Just kind of like we did in our other activity, we set up some variables above the onCreate method so our whole class could use it. So that's what we want to do, and then now we can uh, use that method, use some methods on it within our on pause. 
But the problem is now that we're having is basically we're redefining it here and it's still thinking of it as a local variable because we're defining it within the onCreate method. So all we're going to do is get rid of the media player right here. And now it will recognize it, it, it as a media player class or object and they're all going to turn blue saying that they're all pretty much the same object. So there you go, we set up our, our song and now we can use it within our onPause method. So we're going to say on star, oh, sorry, our song Man, it is getting too late. Shouldn't be doing any tutorials. So we're gonna say our song dot and uh, release. Now you guys can always click on some of these other methods and kind of read a little bit about them and get an idea of what they do. But we're gonna use the release. Basically, this is gonna kick them down that. Um, you know, this is basically gonna release the music and just say we're we're done with you. So we're gonna hit that and end it with a semicolon and now our song should be released when the on pause method gets called let's just test our activity make sure it works turn up the volume here yeah I created that I'm a natural Beethoven so uh, yeah it looks like our activity works and we have some sound to it now grandma Put your clothes back on. What are you doing? Get out of here. So yeah, it looks like it's working. I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. See you later. Peace.